Today, we are going over a very, very special bottle of bourbon that I acquired a few weeks back, but I tried to do a review of it and it just didn't work out. So we're putting it out here. We are doing a rapid, rapid review, review on Chattanooga Whiskey 10 year anniversary founders blend. I think I said that right. Either way, let's go. What's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. Yes, I'm doing videos back to back to back to back so you'll see the same shirt in the videos. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, my family and I came down with COVID so yes, it took me a little while to get at least to the point where I'm at right now which is about 70% on smell and taste. Maybe a little bit more, maybe 75% on smell and taste but yeah, it's been a long road. It hit us hard. Um, my kids were better first, then my wife, and then I'm the one that keeps lingering on. So it is what it is. But thank you everyone for uh, checking in on us and uh, for uh, seeing if we we're okay and for all your uh, good wishes and uh, feel betters. So uh, what we're doing today is a rapid review, review on Chattanooga Whiskey founders 10th anniversary blend yes now you guys know that i became a really big believer on chattanooga whiskey after getting that single barrel barrel pick from uh primo liquors check them out primoliquors.com it's my local liquor store and they made an amazing amazing pick at 120 proof that just blew my socks off let's open this that didn't sound that good. Either way, they made an amazing pick. And since then, I've been hooked on Chattanooga. Um, I love their Bottled and Bond. I love the uh, Tawny Port before that. And quite honestly, a few of the other expressions, sorry, I like. Other than their 91 and their 111. I don't really like those, but hey, either way. Um, now... The thing with Chattanooga is that they like to experiment a lot. And I like that because they put out different things. I think they had a tequila ba uh, um, mashup once, a, a rum mashup, and they like to experiment. And that's really good because I like to see craft distilleries like that, right? Now, this one is their 10th anniversary blend their founders blend and it's a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys it's a hundred proof right and what it says here on the back is that in the spring of 2012 chattanooga whiskey began blending and bottling 1816 which was i guess their coveted or their expression at that time now it was an award-winning straight bourbon whiskey that helped overturn century-old distilling laws while eventually succeeding uh, succeeded by their own signature barrel 91 recipe. This whiskey's impact is never forgotten. So what they're doing is that they're putting uh, a few blends, so their 1816 blend with their barrel 91 blend. So it's saying that this distillery formulated by the founder is a blend of three whiskey recipes distilled in both Chattanooga and Lawrenceburg, Indiana. This combination of traditional and innovative mash bills showcases the unique influence and balance between three whiskeys, each symbolic of our own creed. Rules are good, change them. That's a mouthful, but it's actually pretty cool. And I like the fact that Chattanooga is doing this, quite honestly. So hats off to them. I won't take off my hat because my hair is just crazy. But hats off to them because they're definitely trying good stuff and it's coming out pretty good. So I'm gonna shake this around and let's smell it a little. Now, if you wanna go on the Chattanooga website, it has more information on what this actually is on the three blends and the mash bill, but today we're not gonna get into that. We're just gonna go in for a smell and a taste and I uh, whisked it around a little bit. Now let's go in for that smell. Mm. So I'm getting a nice hint of fry spice right from the beginning. Some sweet caramel, some like light honey, and a little bit of oak. Mm. 
maybe some cocoa powder or, or, or a mild chocolate, I would say. Yeah, and then the honey is just prominent through with that rice spice. So this smells amazing. Let's go in for a taste. Cheers. Wow. So the rice spiciness hits you right from the beginning. I'm feeling it like in the front of my palate and in the back of the palate. Um, so you're getting caramel, it's toffee, but like a full body caramel, like, like a sugar daddy that you just have to keep chewing type of thing. Um, that rice spiciness for sure. It's a little bit of a, another type of spice, maybe like a like a light pepper spice, some honey. You're definitely getting chocolate, so um, or maybe like a cocoa powder. I wouldn't say chocolate, but like a cocoa powder, right? But that's basically chocolate. Let me go in for another taste. Cheers. There's some tobacco there as well. Hmm. That definitely did it for me, right? All the other flavors were definitely really good and balanced together. They came in all great. Has a really good balance. But that extra little cherry on top for me um, is the tobacco, right? And I got that kind of like at the end there. Yeah, like I'm getting it now, like in the in the final like aftertaste, maybe a little bit. You know what that other spice was? It wasn't like the light pepper spice. It was cinnamon. Yeah, because now I'm getting cinnamon as well. This guys is an amazing, amazing blend. Um, you know what? Chattanooga did not disappoint on this one. I am really, really digging this uh, Chattanooga whiskey founders 10th anniversary blend. And this cost me, I think it was 60, 65 bucks. I bought it at Primo Liquor, so check them out. Um, and I have seen them, the MSRP, I think it's 50 bucks or 55. So I paid a little bit over, but I've never seen it in any other place, any other store. And that was the first time that I've ever seen it, right? I haven't seen it anywhere else, so I'm glad I got it, and I was happy paying the extra like 10 bucks or whatever it was. So, <coughs> sorry, still got the remnants of COVID, um, but this was good, and I suggest that if you can get your hands on this, I would definitely, definitely try to get your hands on it, try to um, taste it, because this is just an amazing, amazing bourbon. Well, that has it for this rapid review of Chattanooga Whiskey Founders 10th Anniversary Blend. Let me know what you guys think. Have you seen this in your area? How much is it going for? Have you bought it? Have you tasted it? What are your thoughts on it? Comment below. Please, please do me the favor. Like this video. It will truly, truly help me out. Also, please subscribe yes i need you guys to subscribe we're trying to get to that thousand subscriber mark and you guys are gonna be able to help me out with that so thank you so much for doing that thank you so much for everybody that has subscribed we're uh, over 800 right now so you guys are amazing for helping me do that let's just get to that thousand subscriber mark either way i'm gonna enjoy the rest of this and i want you guys to enjoy that whiskey Cheers.